welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another outfit of the week recreating celebrity styles today's celebrity street style outfit inspiration comes from emily Rad radajowski yes okay thank you i was gonna say is it radikowski I'm Rada, but I really enjoy doing these videos, especially right now during quarantine. I find myself getting into a little bit of a style rut, and I find myself wearing like the same thing every day, which is basically what I'm wearing right now, oversized graphic t-shirts. So I love doing these videos because it forces me to get out of that, dress up a little bit more, even if I'm just like running to go do errands or just grab a quick lunch. It has been kind of nice this week to switch things up a little bit. And her style definitely is different from Sophia Richie, who was the last celebrity's outfits that I recreated. Sophia is definitely a little bit more casual, more LA, while Emily is more New York. She dresses up a little bit more and there's a little bit more of a tailored look to her outfits. So it was really fun for me to recreate these outfits this week and I can't wait to share them with you. But before we jump into it, I just want to remind you guys to please like, comment, and subscribe if you are not already part of my YouTube community. And let's get into all of the outfits I recreated this week. Okay, so for my first Emrata look, I went with this very simple casual one. I was gonna wear a different one today, but it's actually gonna be really hot starting tomorrow. So I'm gonna save that one since it's a little bit cooler. And right now it's almost 5 p.m. So it's cooled down a lot here so I can wear a sweatshirt look, which is appropriate since we're just gonna go to Costco. So for this look, she is wearing a cutoff sweatshirt, has like a little bit of a graphic on the sleeves and then a pair of biker shorts, a pair of sneakers, some crew socks that are just like slouched, and then a little pendant, and then it looks like she's wearing a couple of hoops in here. So in order to create this look, I had pretty much everything. I really love this look. It's something that I would personally wear, but with just like a couple of touches that are a little bit different. So for the top, I have this cutoff sweatshirt. This is an old one from Target, but I'll try to see if I can find a similar one that's in stock right now that has these graphics down the sleeve, just like hers does. Mine is a letter gray, and then hers is plain on the front, but mine has a little graphic, but still pretty close. And then for the biker shorts, I actually don't have any solid, long, black, high-waisted biker shorts. That one really surprised me, so I think I need to look into getting some of those because those are really good basics. Like, why don't I have those? But I do have these ones from Adidas, so the difference is that mine just have all of the Adidas branding on it with the logo and then the three stripes. But from the front, you can barely tell. And then I have a couple of crew socks right here. so. Go ahead and put these on. And then for the shoes, the closest shape that I have are my Nike Pegasus shoes. So I'll go ahead and go with these. For jewelry, I have this pendant that looks pretty similar to hers. I think she's doing silver jewelry in her outfit, but I just have a tendency to go more towards gold. So all of mine are gonna be gold. So this one matches pretty well. I think it matches the length, the style, all of that that she's got going on. And then, like I said, she has a pair of hoops. So I'm gonna go with these thick gold hoops from Target. Perfect. So then there is my first outfit from Emily Radajowski. Radajowski? How do you say your name, babe? Emily Radajowski. Emily Radajowski. I have an expert here. He is a fan, so. <laughs> Only from Bl Blurred Lines. Okay, fair enough. Not from um, Gone Girl? No, she's more topless than uh, Blurred Lines. Okay, we're yeah. gonna keep that in here, just so you know. <laughs> That's my husband. <laughs> so here's the outfit. I think I got it pretty dang close. I love this. Like I said, this is definitely something that I would wear myself anyways. Just she definitely did it better with adding all of that jewelry and stuff. So I love it. Just like a great way to elevate a very casual on the go outfit, which like I said, is perfect for the fact that we are about to go run to Costco. So I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, you guys, so now it is Monday and please don't mind my bare face. I just had a consultation for a potential facial and they wanted me to be bare face to assess my skin. So I apologize that I am not done up right now. But for today's Emrata outfit, I'm gonna be doing this one. She has on just like a black tank top. It looks like a black skirt, 
a jacket tied around the waist, a couple chokers, some sunglasses, and what looks like combat boots. I really love this outfit. This is an outfit that I would definitely wear, but most of the time I'm too lazy to put a skirt on, so this is great because this is gonna force me to do more than just like an oversized t-shirt or a crop top with a pair of sweat shorts. This is definitely a little bit more elevated, but still very much casual and on the go. So to recreate this one, I'm wearing this tank top. This is the same tank top that I had in my recreating Sophia Ritchie outfits video. It's just a simple black tank top, kind of like a square neck. And then for the skirt, I'm wearing this one from Boohoo. It's kind of like a denim skirt style, but just like all black. Michelle actually got this one for me when we bought each other mystery Boohoo hauls. That was a really fun video. And then for jewelry, like I said, she's wearing a couple chokers. So I have on these two. I feel like it's very similar to what she's wearing. The top one is a little bit chunkier. So I have this bigger link up top and then the smaller one's a little bit more dainty and it's like not fully a choker. It kind of sits right at the base of the neck. So for shoes, like I said, she has combat boots on. They're not like super chunky, but the only combat boots I have are really chunky. So we're gonna go ahead and go with them. This is an old style from Nasty Gal, but I feel like they constantly have combat boots. So I'll definitely link a similar one for you guys. And she has hers laced all the way to the top. So we're gonna go ahead and do it just like her. So there we go, already feeling very cool and a little bit edgy. For the jacket, it looks like it's actually an anorak jacket, but it's in like an olive green. I don't have an olive green jacket, but I do have an anorak jacket. I think mine's a little bit longer than hers, but it's okay. But I have it in this blue color. And where did I get this from? I can't even remember. It was so long ago. Oh, well, this is from Forever 21, a little while back. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this to go around my waist. And then finally for sunglasses, she has a pair of like very square oversized sunglasses. I don't really have anything like that, but I'm gonna go with like my biggest pair of black sunglasses, which are these. These are from YSL and these are the 59 millimeter flat top sunglasses. So I feel like it's close. Honestly, it's as close as we're gonna get in my sunglass collection. But this is the final outfit. I feel like it definitely hits home. It's like all the same pieces, just with like a little bit of a color change, a slight shape change, but still I feel like it's very, very similar. Pretty much almost an exact dupe for her outfit. And I like this. I mean, honestly, I love any outfit that can incorporate sunglasses. You guys know I am a sunglass fiend, so I'm very happy that she's wearing sunglasses in that photo. But yeah, definitely would also be a really great weekend outfit. But like I said, today's Monday and I actually need to go to Ulta to pick some stuff up. So I'm going to head out and I will see you guys tomorrow for Tuesday's outfit. All right, guys. So it's now Tuesday and I'm actually off to go run some errands. I have to go to the grocery store and do an exchange. So hi. Hello. Okay. Well then. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna be recreating this one of Emily's outfits. She's just got on a very typical casual errands kind of an outfit. So I thought that this one would be perfect. She has on this white graphic rise against tee, a pair of shorts that are cuffed, and then some sneakers, these like cat eye sunglasses. Looks like she's got some hoops on and then a big huge tote. So like I said, I thought that this one would be perfect for me today. So starting off with the top, I actually don't have any kind of like white t-shirt that's the same same as hers that has a big graphic in the middle but I did have this black one so I thought I'd go with this one and then in the picture it looks like she has her sleeves cuffed a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and add that in here my arms are a little bit thicker than hers so my t-shirt doesn't hang off quite the same but kind of the same thing and then for shorts mine are a little bit lighter than what she has but they're a pretty similar style these are the mom jeans from bdg denim and then they do have a nice cuff here so i figured that that was perfect for this look for the shoes i'm gonna go with my nike pegasus again just because it seems like it's the closest shape to hers but i don't see any socks in that picture so i'm gonna go with a couple pairs of no-show socks and yes my socks aren't matching they never do it's kind of like my thing to not have my socks ever matching okay Okay, so for accessories, like I said, she has some hoops. So I'm gonna go with these ones. These are from Amazon. These are like some of my favorite hoops. They like don't tarnish and they last a really long time and they're super affordable. The hoops she had didn't look like they were too big. So that's why I'm gonna go ahead and go with this size as opposed to the really big ones that I wore the other day. So there you go. And then for sunglasses, the Desi on red sunglasses are probably the closest ones that I have to what she's wearing. The ones she's wearing are tortoise as well, so this fits pretty dang closely. 
And then for a bag, I don't really have a huge colorful tote, but I do have this one. Michelle actually made this one for me, and I thought that this one would be good because like I said, I am gonna go to the grocery store, so I like to use this for all of my groceries, so it just really works out for this outfit. But this is the completed look. I'm so sorry, you guys can't really see my shoes. He's decided to sleep right over here, but you guys get the idea. I think I nailed it. Like I said, the top is a different color, so that does make it a little bit different, but definitely still the same vibes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to the grocery store and I will see you guys on Wednesday for my next look. Hey guys, happy hump day. So it is another no makeup day. I'm so sorry, I just, I'm so busy with work. I'm literally not even leaving the house, which is what makes this outfit so perfect for today. For today's outfit, I'm recreating this one from Emily. She's just walking her dog very, very casual in an oversized graphic tee, which I know, shocking, because that's so not my style, right? But yeah, I wanted to save this one for a day where I knew I wasn't gonna be leaving the house, which like I said, I'm not gonna be doing today. I'm very, very busy today. I'm not gonna leave the house, except for maybe going to the gym with Trevor tonight. I should go to the gym. Okay, but that doesn't really matter for this. During most of the day, I am just gonna be wearing this outfit. So for this one, she's just got on an oversized tie-dye t-shirt along with a pair of white sneakers. So luckily, we know that I have a huge collection of oversized t-shirts, and I do have a tie-dye one. It is a little bit different. Mine does have the big Rolling Stones tongue out on the front, so a little bit different, but still we've got the tie-dye going on all over the place. And then for shoes, I'm just gonna pull out my Nike Pegasus sneakers again. And that's it. I mean, that's all there really is to this outfit. Obviously, I'm not wearing my sneakers inside the house, but despite me really not leaving the house, I am gonna do one little quick outing here. Grabbing my last accessory for this outfit, because like I said, she is walking her dog in her picture, and I'm so sorry, I just realized I had a bag of trash here the whole time. I apologize, but here comes my last accessory for this outfit. Do you wanna go for a walk? Do you want to go on a walk? Come on. Oh. All right, so there we go. The completed look for this outfit. Thank you so much for being a prop buddy. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Thursday where I hopefully will be exiting the house so I can recreate a little bit more of an exciting outfit for you guys. Let's go. So it's now Thursday and once again, I have a little helper with me. Oh, hello. Okay. He's very hot. I had to turn the fan off in order to film this to plug in my lights. So I'll be brief so I can get some air back on him. But for today's outfit, I'm recreating this one. This is just like a classic jeans and a white tank top outfit, but just with a few little style elements so that Emily could make it her own. And this one with the white tank and the jeans, she's also got a big oversized tote, a brown belt, some white sneakers, and then again, some cat eye sunglasses and a pair of gold hoops, which that seems to be her preference, which I'm all here for because I am a hoops girl as well. So to recreate this outfit, I think the tank top she has on is a little bit more of a v-neck, but I don't have anything like that. So I just went with like your classic ribbed white tank top. And then for the jeans, I have on this pair. This is from Princess Polly. I don't know if they still have these, but I will link something similar if they don't. But these are just like a pair of more like straight leg jeans. And then her jeans just went down to the ankle. And these are my shortest jeans. So I figured that they would work for me. Most ankle jeans, since I'm 4'11", tend to be full length on me. But these ones do actually hit me at the ankle. For the shoes, I'm gonna wear this pair from Misguided. This is just like a pair of classic white sneakers. So here's those. And then I do have a brown belt here. The one that she is wearing has a square buckle, but the only one that I have is a round one, but still pretty close here. And I honestly haven't worn a belt in forever, so it's like a little style element that I always forget about. So that's one of the things that I really like about these Recreating Celebrity Styles videos is that it like reminds me about things like belts and stuff that I normally forget to style. For earrings, I have just these thick gold hoops from Target that I've worn in a previous look in this video. And then for sunglasses, I'm bringing these back. These are the Desi on red and just like the closest shape and size to the ones that she has. And then for the tote, I'm using this one again. This is the one that Michelle made me and figured that it was like kind of perfect because I don't have a Versace tote, but I would love one. So if I can just maneuver around here, I'm so sorry if you guys can't see the full outfit, but here it is just like a little girl on the go outfit. And this is perfect. I'm about to go pick up lunch and do a couple of returns. So I'm gonna head out and take care of all that stuff. And I'll see you guys back here again for Friday. 
All right then, so it is finally a Friday. I actually just wrapped up work for the day, so I'm gonna go head to the mall, do a couple of errands that I've been needing to do over there now that they are open. But for today's Emrata outfit, I'm gonna be recreating this one here. She is a running errands herself, so again, another appropriate outfit for what I'm doing today. In this one, she has on this pink printed dress. It has like ruching around the bust area. It's spaghetti strap, and it's on the shorter side, hits about mid thigh. She has on a pair of white sneakers, and then she's wearing a black mask, because she's being responsible. It also looks like she's carrying a crossbody, but it's like behind her arm on her hip. It just looks like a little dark brown crossbody. And then it looks like she has on a couple of bracelets, looks like a chunky chain, and then like a small delicate chain. And then finally we're seeing she's wearing those like tortoise cat eye sunglasses again that she's been wearing in most of her looks. So to recreate this outfit, I'm wearing this dress from Nasty Gal. This is just like a floral printed pink mini dress. It has ruching on the bust, kind of like hers has. And then the length I feel like hits at the right length. For shoes, I feel like I could have gone either way, either with the Nike Pegasus or the misguided ones. And I felt like just for this dress, I like the misguided sneakers a little bit better. So we're gonna go with these ones. Then for jewelry, I have these two bracelets here. This first one is this chunky rhinestone chain from Misguided, and then this other one is this like softer chain from Majuri. So I have both of those on. And then for the bag, I don't have any brown crossbody bags, but I figured that my pink Rebecca McGough satchel would go perfect with this dress. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that on just right there. And then for the sunglasses, I'm gonna use the Desi on Reds again, just because these are the closest ones that I have to those like tortoise super angular cat eye ones that she has. And then finally, the final touch, because I am going to the mall, and because she is wearing a mask in this outfit anyways, this black mask that I got from Misguided. These are like my favorite masks. I talked about them in one of my favorites video. I'm just gonna leave it on just for a second, because I'm sure it's kind of hard to hear me, but just for effect, here is the full outfit. This one, I feel like I really hit home on. I mean, seriously, the dress is so similar to what she's wearing, just like with the style and with the coloring. But what I really love about this outfit is that it's such like a casual, easy one to throw on, but it looks so elevated because it is a dress and because you did add the touches of like the sunglasses and the bracelets, but still very on the go with the shoes. So that was today's outfit. I'm gonna head out, head to the mall, and I will see you tomorrow for the final outfit, which is also a big day for me, which reminds me, I did wanna apologize I know my hair has been getting like worse and worse by the day. I cannot wash it this week because tomorrow I'm actually gonna get my hair done. This full platinum blonde to the root is gonna be gone. But once we get to tomorrow, I'll show you what I'm wearing for my hair appointment. All right, you guys, so it's now Saturday and I am on my way to my hair appointment. So for today's outfit, I'm gonna be wearing this look from Emily. I picked this one for today because I am getting my hair done. We're gonna be working with color, with bleach and stuff. So I figured nothing around my neck would be better just in case anything drips through the cape. So for this one, she's got on this like black tube crop top, a pair of like lighter wash jeans. These ones seem to be a little bit looser than the one she was wearing in the previous look. Then she has on a pair of these like gray sneakers, a red bag, two pendants hanging really low. She seems to like really love pendants and also hoops, which she is wearing again in here. And I just noticed too, she also has a watch. So I ran upstairs really quick to grab that. Okay, so to recreate this outfit, I actually don't have like a black tube top kind of a situation, but I do have this navy blue one, which pretty much goes because it is darker colored. And then for the jeans, like I said, the ones that she's wearing seem to be a little bit looser than the one she was wearing the other day. So I'm wearing these. These are my A Goldie 90s loose fit jeans. They're just like, my favorite jeans, they fit me the best. And especially with me wearing a crop top, I wanted to go with the jeans that were the most flattering around my waist. For shoes, I don't have any like fully gray sneakers, but I do have these that have like a little bit of gray detail on them. These are old from Boohoo. I'll see if I can find some similar pairs for you guys, but these ones are like honestly a dupe for the Louis Vuitton Arclight or Archlight sneakers. So I really love these ones. And I figured with the shape and coloring, these were the closest in my closet to the ones that she's wearing. So here these are with the outfit so far. And then, like I said, she was wearing a couple of different pendants. These are my two lowest hanging necklaces. Okay, so here those are. And then, like I said, I did notice that she's wearing a watch. I don't have any gold watches, so I'm gonna go with this one for movement. It's kind of like this bronze and copper watch. And then for the bag, she does have a red bag, but I don't have a red bag. So again, I think the Rebecca Minkoff Gabby satchel in this pink will be a good substitute. At least they're, you know, in the same color family. And then per usual, she was in those light colored cat eye sunglasses. So I am gonna use 
the Desi on Reds again. And here is the completed outfit. This is my final Emrata look. And honestly, I think that this one's my favorite just because it's been so hot this week. And I'm just like so glad to be in a tube top. But this one is just so great for on the go. Again, another really good casual kind of errands look that's a little bit more elevated than just like throwing on a pair of joggers or sweatshorts or like an oversized t-shirt and stuff. So yeah, I really love this one. I think it's so cute. And, and now I am on my way to go get my hair done. We can go ahead and take one final look here. Say goodbye to this like all platinum blonde look. It's a little bit bittersweet, but I'm very excited. My hair's been like this for like three or four years, so it's time for a change. And I can't wait to see how it turns out. If you guys are curious to see what my new hair looks like, make sure that you are subscribed because it will be my next vlog after this video. Or make sure that you're following me on Instagram because I'm definitely storing my hair appointment in real time. But I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this edition of Outfits of the Week, Recreating Celebrity Styles. And if you made it this far into the video, leave me a comment down below and let me know what celebrity you guys would want to see me recreate next. I have a couple of ideas, but I think I'm going to let you guys vote on whose outfits I recreate next. But if you guys want to get a suggestion in to possibly be considered, make sure to tell me in the comments. And I love you guys. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one with all new hair. Bye. Thank you.